tell us in a few words how things are going for you, what happened this summer, and what is happening now. Uh, yeah, well, first off, I guess this is better than my, uh, what it was last year, last time I was here, so we're moving in the right direction. Um, basically, where things are at, uh, things are going quite well. Uh, it's been a long summer, obviously. Um, a lot of rehab and a lot of training. I spent a lot of time with uh, Ken Kavelka here, our head physio at uh, on Canada, and Matt Price, my trainer. Uh, from a physical standpoint, I actually feel uh, quite strong and ready. Uh, in uh, really good physical shape, got all the strength and everything back. Uh, however, just getting back on snow now, so um, you know there's a, a lot of work to be done there, and, and there's still a long ways to go before I'm, uh, I'm ready to, to compete. Uh, just started skiing in November. I think I've had seven or eight days now, uh, and from uh, you know for missing a whole year and only being on snow for seven days, uh, things are feeling pretty good, and I think I'm in a good place. Well, it's always uh, you know it's always tough when you miss a season for sure. Um, and especially when uh, it, it's a season where the Olympic Games in your home country, because as an athlete, that's an experience that you're lucky to have once, uh, and I, I'm well aware that's never going to happen again in, uh, in my career. Um, but at the same time, you know, ski racing is a dangerous sport, and um, it, you know, I know this, and as well as all the other athletes here, it's just a risk that you know we all accept. Uh, so for me, I mean, it's, it's something I came to terms with very quickly. Uh, I was kind of lying there. And, I realized it's something I couldn't change, and my focus changed from competing at the Olympic Games to coming back and, uh, and uh, you know continuing on uh, on this path.